Okay, so here we are with post commentary again. Of course, I have no idea what I might have been thinking or doing, you know, as, as one does. Yeah, I do recall that whatever I noticed, you know, at the end of the last part, I was like, no, this, I probably need a break, right? It's all a bit of a maze, but I will say in this instance, um, I do prefer what the Pixel Remaster has done because I remember really struggling to get through it in the DS version, uh, mostly because there just isn't this type of map, you know, and I do find the map extremely helpful. And also, because as I've been saying, because the enemy encounters in the DS version, you know, they're more beefy, um, yeah. I would, you know, encounter like these these huge dragons that I, I don't really believe I've been encountering that much in this version. And it got to the point I would just flee them like all the time i can't even remember what they dropped they, they dropped more than a high potion but you know still wasn't worth um repeatedly dying in here Compulsive healing after every. Well, I don't even know if it's compulsive because it's so easy to die in a random encounter if you haven't properly, you know, healed up and prepared. Yeah, and do you do your cautionary quick save? Yeah. <laughs> and I think um, I think this game, you know, it being my first Final Fantasy, is why I do that in every Final Fantasy, you know, since basically just frantically save whenever I can because, you know, the repercussions for not saving, you end up having to replay so much. Or I did anyway. Well, this post commentary isn't, um, You know, it both is and isn't Insomnia Post Commentary. This is more, I went to bed even earlier than I normally do, and you just, you know, I've just slept for, for eight hours at this point, so. <laughs> so it isn't really Insomnia so much as I went to bed too early even for me, right? Because I'm trying to see, uh, and of course I'm gonna use the very scientific method of what time was the last time I sent a text message right so let's see yeah yeah that's that's the problem is that I basically went to sleep like an hour and a half <laughs> before even I had to me for the sleep which is, you know and I didn't even feel um I didn't think I was tired but I think um I think I've kind of been mentally exhausted myself or something, so. Huh. I don't... Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I knew I didn't care for it being a back attack, and, you know, if you're gonna go around draining off. <laughs> Like 7.30 and health. <laughs> and of course, like all games, here they are bringing the bosses back as regular enemies. Because that's basically, uh... I want to say it was Medusa, but like, in a different color. I can't remember, but I think Medusa was a different color. Like a pink, maybe? Let's 
thing too with it is is we just kind of rotate the uh you know i'm trying to rotate like the summons that i'm using right because as is always the case and i'm i'm trying to get out of that but it's a hard habit to break you know it's like you you find things in any game that you just get used to using and then you don't try other things that you might be into you know what i mean and I'm trying to get out of that habit, but it's a hard habit to break. Because what ends up happening is, I'm at the end of the game like I am now. And I'm trying to just, you know, try a whole bunch of stuff. Because I think that was part of what... You know, you really don't have the really good jobs for very long. You know? So you sort of... You've gone through all that to get the summons. And then you don't really have very much game left to play with the good jobs and i'm saying that and they're like <laughs> i think they're like like four four parts uh include this one but you know relative to everything else you just don't have these jobs for as long as all i'm saying Yeah, I feel like I tried, I tried out the white musk or black musk, and I wasn't too impressed with it. <laughs> I don't, I couldn't tell you what I'm evaluating. I guess I'm trying to figure out how to proceed, I guess. Perhaps I've gotten all the chests and I'm trying to figure out how to get, you know, to the next point. <laughs> That's the whole thing, and I mean, I guess everybody is like that, uh, you know, for the most part, I can tell, you know, what I was probably thinking more or less, but sometimes I'm like, I have no clue what I'm thinking or what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, who, who is this person? And why on earth are they doing these, these idiotic things in the game, right? I don't think they have a lot of health for things that they summon, though. And see, that's part of the thing, too. Like, you know, because again, I know I'm just trying things out, and so I tried out, you know, doing some confusion, and it missed everybody. And then it's the type of thing where you say to yourself, well, did it miss everybody because it just happened to miss? Or was it that every enemy on the screen just, you know, they just cannot be confused, you know? And then, apparently, I'm... I don't know, it seems like I have two ways forward, right? And I guess I'm trying to decide which one to go with. So, apparently, I'm going to try this door first. Where is this taking me? I think I was trying to see if either of those uh, pools of water, if they had restorative properties, you know, some of them, they heal you or they remove your status effects, things like that. I think that's why I was walking to the water. I hope that's why I was walking to the water, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise it made no sense. So let's go with that. Oh man. They just summon the same friend. I mean, I can't really tell. I tend to favor the same summons. 
I think I'm purposely trying in here to mix the summons up a bit, but otherwise I tend to spam the same ones until I run out, you know? I won't pretend I wasn't really. <laughs> I love that animation. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, okay. Eureka. Okay. And see, that's the thing. I think you can actually completely skip Eureka. Um, I, I don't, obviously. But, uh, and I don't think I ever have because it has pretty good stuff in here. Actually, it has awesome stuff, but you know, in my opinion. I don't know why I'm always qualifying things with in my opinion. Obviously, it's my, it's my opinion. <laughs> really went hard with the with the pixel you know with the pixelation uh, that's how they try to say with the way they designed the pixel characters there, there's just something about the design that I'm that I'm really preferring in pixels you know that could just be because I'm old and I'm used to looking at, at pixels right Yeah, the, the nostalgia of pixels makes me feel young on the inside. <laughs> oh, goodness. And, um, you know, I, I could pretend I'm gonna make some effort not to hub along, but I just love the, uh, the music in Eureka the Forbidden Land. Absolutely adore it. Good move with the with the quick save. Cause I I had gone a little further than I would have liked without a quick save. Perfect. I don't know how you pronounce that at all. Abia, Abia. I don't even know what they look like. You know, I wouldn't quite say like a gargoyle. You know what I mean? based off some actual mythical character, let me see. Cause I know a lot of them tend to be... Okay. Well, it is something, it's just... I guess what I'm seeing online doesn't quite match with what I'm seeing on the screen, right? So we won't worry about it. 
this seems to be a uh, a very different different representation they went with in Final Fantasy. <laughs> Because online with the buyer uh, the, the AB or whatever, I, I did not bother to, to check the pronunciation. Uh, they were saying an eel, you know, and I, I wasn't really getting eel vibes from that. It definitely looked more like a gorgoyle to me. one monster unless this ninja can summon things as well yeah it just really leaned into the golem staff I really just felt like it was my best staff by this point who's amazingly baddest in this game, actually. <laughs> the pixels preserving her modesty. I mean, although Shiva always looks fabulous, I mean, you know, why be modest when you, when you look like Shiva, I guess. And this ninja has way more health than I was expecting. And that's the thing, right? You know, it's like you're seeing these enemies, they look the same, but they have different names and they have different health bars, right? get blind did the ninja make me blind or did I end up blind somewhere earlier and I just didn't know it? and honestly because I was just thinking that right now too I'm like do I even care that arc is blind because I, I basically just heal and cast magic with arc like But then I guess, no, even with the Golem Staff, I'm casting, you know, not just like straight up hitting with it. So I was probably debating if I even wanted to cure Ark's blindness. <laughs> And me still not remembering that, you know, doing optimal is going to give me two Golem Staffs, staves, which makes absolutely no point. No point. Makes no sense. <laughs> I 
Nah. That a hundred percent sure why Zoom did to it. Unless I was trying to see if there was like a fake wall or something. I love how they have the um, the little flame by their hood. Dark, my little pony type of thing to me. Well, not even that dark. I mean, my little pony, you know, it had some stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, it has some pretty. It always did have some pretty dark parts. <laughs> Those children's shows, man, they will, uh, they will do it. You know, when you think about that stuff later, it's like, well, actually. This is uh this is a horror a horror ship. <laughs> and I mean that was especially true for me of um I love uh He Man uh Masters of the Universe, you know, from the eighties or whatever. Um I liked, actually I liked one of the reboots, but I, I think they didn't really give it a, a fair shot because they, they cut it off, I want to say on a cliffhanger. I don't, I don't know if they put in a bad time slot or whatever. Um, and I also used to love the Thundercats. Yeah, same, same type of story there. But the thing with me about He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is, I mean, there were a lot of dark things going on, right? But they, they would have like this kind of goofy slapstick humor, you know, thrown in there. I guess to kind of lighten it up. And then they would have that hilarious uh, lesson of the day that like generally had, they were pretending like it had something to do with the episode, but it really didn't. Do you know what I mean? And I guess that was uh, what they had to do to sort of, you know, get it by and say yes this is light enough or whatever to be a children's show i guess but yeah man i could watch some he-man masters of the universe right now i should i should why are you going back Must be missing something. Because obviously I'm completely consumed with getting everything in Eureka to Forbidden Land. But again, this this place has a lot of good stuff. It basically has like the best weapons for your jobs, you know, like the best items. Best shops to get, get you high in and stuff. And, and I think mainly by in stuff, I mean like shuriken at exorbitant prices. But then shuriken is so good, and you know, you're like bleeding gill by the time you get to the end. Because even, I don't recall the DS version being quite as generous with the gill as this game, but still, you still have life. And yeah, I just feel like, um, you know, part of me is kind of toy because, um, you know, a lot of times when I play uh, my DS or, or my Game Boy Advance, it's, uh, well, my... Well, I actually, and this is the especially ridiculous part, I have a Game Boy Advance, a DS, and a DSi. The thing is, the touch screen um, is damaged on the DS. So generally, on the DS, I have like an order of operations 
for playing things during the power outage or a storm, right? Um, you know, because you're basically playing it until the power runs out. Shuriken. Shuriken for the win. Yeah. Quick save immediately after that shuriken. But yeah, um, so basically what ends up happening is I play the DSi first, right? Because that's like my best one out of those. That's my best system. My most high-tech system out of the three I've listed. Um, and my, you know, my touchscreen works on that one and everything. Um, and then I'll move to the DS and just play something that isn't going to require the touch screen, you know, because not every game. Like, basically, I'm not going to play Super Princess Peach on my DS, right? Because I'm really going to use my, my touch screen a lot with that game. Um, but then, too, because the DS had the backwards compatibility, I can also play my Game Boy Advance games on that, right? And then when the power runs out on that, then I play the Game Boy Advance. And the problem is... I have the Game Boy Advance that didn't have the, the good backlighting. My brother had the one with the good backlighting. And so um, that's the only thing that stops me from playing the Game Boy Advance more. Um, because the power lasts quite well on the Game Boy Advance. You know, for obvious reasons, it has less to, to sustain. Um, but my screen, uh, I had like the first version of it or whatever. Of course, now the thing is, is that because I have the Switch and the Steam Deck, I could play those first as well. And so I say all that to say, um, I feel like I do want to compare and play Final Fantasy 3 again on the DS. It's just that I could also see me like during the storm now that I have the Steam Deck and the Switch, like it just taking a long while before I got to to Final Fantasy 3 or by DS or by DSI, right? Yeah, I did not end up getting... I didn't get a 3DS um, and I didn't get a Wii U. I didn't jump back in with them until the Switch. You know, I had, I had a Wii, and obviously I have I had the DS and DSi and Game Boy Advance I told you about, but yeah. Not sure what about the 3DS, I just couldn't... It may have been the 3D aspect that admittedly I know didn't have to be used, right? Because I'll have like these breaks, you know, in my life where I'll stop playing games for a few years and um, I really don't know why because I always go back to it and just it's like, no, you need to, you need to always be, be playing video games, you know, so long as you're physically capable of doing it, but, you know, I just go through periods where I stop. And it's the same with, with like all my hobbies. I'll go through periods where I stop and then when I go back to it, it's like, why are you stopping this? It's like, this, this is why you're upset because you're not doing the things that you enjoy. <laughs>
Good move on the quick save. Yeah, and I realize I am not talking about Eureka the Forbidden Land at all. I have been all over the place, and I'm, I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> I'm just going to acknowledge that, that this is what's going to end up happening if I do Oh, Okay. So, yeah, this is one of the um, the boss fights for the uh, one of the good items. But yeah, this this is just how post commentary ends up, you know. Especially in something like, you know, if it's something like Final Fantasy III where even at this level, you know, because of the level I'm at, the amount of health I have, you know, the battles aren't gonna take too much thought on my part. Realistically, just in an effort to sort of diversify and try some different things, I'm probably make it the battle slightly longer or more difficult than they have to be right so but um i think the the same type of thing that makes it difficult for me to to say anything of particular note about these battles and post commentary is the same thing i love about it in real life right is that you could just sort of mindlessly do this you know like while you're while you're hanging out with your family while you're watching tv um it's just it's just something to do it keeps you occupied you know what i'm saying without too much thought but with mild champ challenge right you just have to pay a little bit of attention that you die okay show my worth yeah oh wow okay they brought hein back but now now your stage name is amo okay fair enough nice outfit Yeah, I'm sort of out of, hopefully, you know, past me realizes, oh, you should really try to to maintain some summons and what have you for the actual boss fights that you probably completely forgot existed prior to this point. So, am I trying to cure it because it's a skeleton or something? What am I doing? Oh no, Libra to read the re weak points, okay. No weaknesses. Okay, so basically it hasn't done its barrier shift thing yet. And that's the thing with, uh, you know, with this enemy type too. I never quite timed the, uh, the stuff correctly to tell the barrier shift. Fortunately, it seems to accidentally work out most of the time, but you know, not, uh, not ideal. Now, I guess at this point it didn't matter because what I remember now is that I, I don't think the summoning magic counts in quite the same way as the regular magic, you know? Okay, so something, something healed him. It must have been the, uh, okay. And so that's, that's going along with what I had said, right? So the Heavenly Wrath healed him, but the summon magic, you know, from Rama was fine. So 
and that saves your vulnerable to fire. But it's still taking damage from Shiva because it's a summon. Video game logic. <laughs> Say I was expecting a little bit more from the bomb arm, given how fancy the animation was, but you know. Okay, there you shift again. What did you change to now? Yeah, I, I was about to say, I, I hope it was vulnerable to ice because Shiva did more damage than, uh, than before there. So that's interesting. It still takes more damage if he's weak to it, but it doesn't, you know, make him gain health from the summons. So it, it's an interesting mechanic they have going there. I appreciate that there were, you know, people that just straight up explained it to you, but it, you know, it sort of defies the, the logic of what you see. Okay. Yeah, again, I don't I don't think it was particularly hard, especially given the summon mechanic. Um but fair bit of health. And moon ring blade. I feel like maybe that's for I don't I can't remember if that's like for a ninja. I feel like it is. Alright, so now we're gonna move on to the next one. The next objectives. <laughs> because yeah, we're totally we're totally gonna get them all. You should know that by now. <laughs> uh oh, oh Sientness. Again, I know I keep saying that I just like every time I see them, I just enjoy looking at what they've created there.
I think my logic here was due to the name and the fact that it looked like it would have lived in water that I was going to use lightning. to Phoenix down. I don't ever really say, oh, I have too many Phoenix downs. <laughs> like, if I, if I can have 99, then I get 99. <laughs> And I mean, I'm I'm sparing you, but in my head, I am I am jamming hard to this to this music. I just love it. Okay, um, I don't know how to say that. I do remember her hitting pretty hard though, and possibly getting two turns instead of one. Okay, so fortunately, it sort of gives me everything. Well, not sort of, it does restore uh, after I killed the other boss. Well, maybe she doesn't get two turns. I don't know why I thought she did. Yeah, and I think my thought there with the healing was because Lunith was so low, but she just seemed to really hate Lunith for some reason. Um, I was like, if she's taking me out that much, let me just do a Karaja. But Lunith died anyway. And of course, that was me checking and realizing, no, you do not have a rise. <laughs> so. Because now I'm kind of wondering, where do I get those level 8 spells?
I'm, every time I see the... And that's something, you know, in all of these games, I always, even though it's the type of thing where I love and hate the summon animation, like, it's pretty quick here. Because I know there's one, you know, one person I talk to that plays Final Fantasy, and he's just basically like, you know, it's not that I don't like the summons, it just takes too long, right? Like, it's like I could have done like five attacks or whatever in the time it took for the summon animation. <laughs> And even when they let you skip the, the summon animation, it's still a bit of an ordeal. But, um, you know, the first time you see the summon animation, it's like, oh, this is great. You know, y'all really went all out. But then it's like, come on, man. That just... Because I remember, I want to say it might have been like Final Fantasy X or something where there was a setting where you could like do the shortened version of the summon animation, but even the shortened version of it was still pretty, was still pretty involved. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, I, that's that's the white mage conundrum for me all the time. It's like I seem okay. Do I do a protective heal just in case? Okay, and here we are at the end, right? Because it's like you know, do I use some offensive magic or do I just repeatedly do care just to be safe? You know, one of the care spells just to be safe. But again, we we got through it. And mess. Masamune, maybe? Okay. So I was able to put both of those on the Dark Knight. I don't know why I thought I could only put them on the Ninja, but clearly I was mistaken and I'm not mad that I was that I was wrong. <laughs> Okay, and then, then my map got a little bit more spicy. <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, we're in spicy beads. Confusing for me, right? Yeah, I, I don't even, and I'm laughing at myself because I honestly don't even know why I'm looking at it. This is not bringing me any greater clarity. I just, I just need to walk and, and try to figure it out from there. Because <laughs> looking at it really wasn't, wasn't doing anything. <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, because obviously there's some type of hidden path or hole, you know, that I that I can't see from the map until I get into it.
Yeah, good move on that quick save. We'll see. We'll see, Scalper. <laughs> the general is kind of adorable. I'm, I'm sure that's not really the vibe he was going for, but yeah. I love how I keep debating using Odin just to see. Because I, I think the problem is I'm at the point where it's like, well, I should probably use him, <laughs> you know, at least once, but it, it's just so unreliable. Like, it's cool when it works, but. And I get that, like, it can't work over the time, all the time, because that would just be too OP, but. I, I won't lie, I wasn't expecting the general to do Batio. I really wasn't. Okay. Yeah, the general was pretty, other than the, the bio spell that kind of came out of nowhere, um, you know, not really much to, to say about it, I would think. And again, I think it's just that 
that I'm so, you know, high leveled at this point. Uh, And, and that the enemies just aren't that hard in this one. And I, I do wonder... Um, I guess that's what I'm kind of wondering. If, in effect, all the old ones from 1 through 6 were like this before they redid them. I don't know, because I've never played 5 before, but I absolutely adore... Final Fantasy 6, like just complete, complete and total love forever and ever. And definitely in the version I played on Game Boy Advance, that was, that was some involved stuff. So maybe, you know, I'll, I'll see maybe in 5 and 6 of the Pixel Remaster, the difficulty amped up. Or maybe again, maybe it isn't something they did until later versions of those games. Obviously, seven is a whole different. You know. <laughs> I'll talk about Final Fantasy VII when I get to, to Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> oh, goodness. Which, obviously, I'm nowhere near playing Final Fantasy VII, right? Because if this was the first one I ever played, and this is the first one I'm uploading, then, uh, yeah. Yeah, we have quite a. Quite a journey to go. Quite a journey to go. Because the next one I played is Final Fantasy IV. So that would be the next one I do. Obviously I'm not gonna do it like right after this one. I'm gonna, you know, take a break. I don't I don't like to play um, you know like the same type or whole series like back to back. You know, even if I played it before, so, uh, you know, like when I play, um, you know, say like when I played Dark Souls Remastered, I took some time, you know, before I went back to try to do Elden Ring, right? The same as if, if I ever made a Chirol credits on Elden Ring, I would take time before I played another uh, from software game. So that's just how I, I prefer to do it so I don't get burned out on, on any one uh series keep it relatively fresh because even though they're all different right i mean each final fantasy is different there's enough similar about it and I, and i feel the same way with the from software games from what i've seen and what i've you know played there's enough similar about it where i would get burned out if i just did it like back to back i guess i'm trying to figure out where, where the oh yeah <laughs> i keep forgetting where the invisible hall is. job with the quick save because yeah the last thing you want to be I mean obviously at this point I've done enough quick saves where I wouldn't have to replay all of Eureka the Forbidden Land but oh here we go with two and um but still still you don't want to replay things unnecessarily simply because you forgot to use the lovely quick save feature that they made available for you
other stuff. Okay. Oh, great. So that's where I get an engine saved from. Okay. Oh. I, I, again, I just love the character design, right? Look at that boss design. And like each head has like a, a little bit of a different expression, you know? Love that. Oh, Skilla. Skilla and Kalypis. Yeah, obviously I'm I'm a bit of a uh, of a, a mythology nerd. Not not a lot. I actually, you know, like in college I took uh, you know Greek Greek mythology class and, and whatnot. I do enjoy it, which is probably also why I'm so into Hades. You know, because of the the mythology component to it. I'm, I'm a nerd about a lot of things. It's funny. Let's cool the skill of looks. That not really doing, you know, much to be concerned about, in my opinion. Now am I gonna get concerned later? I don't know. You know, because maybe I'll get two lags that just Oh, oh no, Skilla. Okay, no. Just just no. How dare you? And did you see how much it healed for? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. fabulous I mean I, I think it's a dress that Skiller has on if, if not it's fabulous either way I don't know if it's like a bodysuit with a sash or what I'm all about that holy absolutely not so let me get this straight so Skiller Skiller is so I think what I'm trying to do that's probably not gonna work I think I tried to put reflect on Skiller so that if Skiller cured that it would reflect on me but I don't know if restorative magic reflects in Portland Myth, Portland Myth. I don't know if restorative magic reflects and I think now I'm just like trying to frantically get rid of Skilla before it does like another 4,500 or maybe it was like 4,300 in healing. Whatever it was, it was too much healing. Any amount of healing is too much. And then I'm wondering like what even triggers the healing? Like is it a certain amount of rounds and then it heals? Because I know in one of the Final Fantasies I was playing, it was something like that, right? That it was a certain amount of rounds, and then it would kind of heal up a ridiculous amount, and you had to sort of start all over again. Okay, good. Yeah. And I... 
I'm sure I was feeling like this in the past too. Like because I had just said, I'm like, well, this doesn't seem like too much to be concerned about. But the healing, the healing just got me in a panic. It just got me in a panic. Okay, good deal, Elder Staff. Okay, so ninja and sage. So now what I'm wondering is. Did I immediately decide to become a ninja and a sage, or did I hold off on it? I might not have done sage at all. Because sage might be like doing black magic and white magic. It might be like a super amped up red mage. Can't quite recall. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. I think I end up using Elder Staff a lot. Probably in like the routine battles. Yeah, see me kind of debating the sage. I know that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and then I probably end up saying, let me just, let me just not, yeah. Yeah, I think ninja would be the way to go. Then I mean, it's logical, right? Because he's a black belt now. So it would make sense for me to, you know, make him a ninja. But probably what I... If I don't change it to ninja, I'm assuming it's because everything has already been restored to me, right? So if I switched to ninja, I wouldn't have anything on it. Guardian. I can't remember what Guardian said it would do for me, but let's see. That does not seem like a comfortable fighting position, right? It's certainly, it's certainly an alert and ready position, but but maybe the point isn't isn't comfortable, right? Okay. So let me uh let me try to be patient before I start talking smack about this boss because we we saw what just happened with skill. <laughs> and I've already become become cheap of like let me use the elder staff since I have it. I, I raise it by eyebrow and pass me because it's like that's a bit a bit too bold for a boss fight but but I am still being stingy I still am yeah and it could be, it could also be that I'm like, you know, I've done the quick save. I made sure I did the quick save. And I, I may just want to see how much the Elder Staff can restore, you know.
Okay. Not horrible damage, but again, because I've been sort of cheap with uh, with my healing in this fight, which is ridiculous, I'm in a tiny bit of trouble. Because I'm I'm a bit taken aback that I'm that I even went as stingy as Kira, right? Yeah, yeah, stop playing around and actually use your spells. Especially because I'm gonna be restored if I beat it. Okay. Okay, so even though I was really playing fast and loose with that healing, uh, testing out the Elder Staff, not, not too big of a deal. Ragnarok. Uh oh. Okay. So I got all hidden items. And I got all the forbidden weapons in Eureka. Nothing like a little achievement to make you make you feel warm inside. It's, it basically it's like the the virtual equivalent of getting a sticker in elementary school <laughs> I, uh, actually I, I won't lie I still enjoy stickers I could go for some stickers right now let's see Great shots, yeah. Good deal. Sure, I'm checking to make sure I got all the the items and chests, which I see that there's still chests there. So, what is in this chest? Ooh. All right, yeah. Love it. Love all of this. Yeah. What do you sell? Oh, that's where I get a rise. Okay. Okay, so this is where you get the level 8 spells. And see, that's that's interesting to me that, you know, you can skip Eureka. I'm fairly certain it's an optional area. But then you would miss those level 8 spells, you know, for the black or the uh, white magic. Or rather, for both types of magic black and white you could definitely miss them both okay and see i do feel i have mixed feelings about this right you can just buy these if without you know well actually let me pause because now i'm not sure Perhaps I can only buy them because I beat them, meaning I'm not certain that they're available in this shop if you haven't beat them, actually. Because I could totally see why, I mean, you might want to have, you know, more than one summoner, right? So then you would, you would need to be able to buy those. But again, you may have to actually beat them to buy them. And now I'm probably just trying to figure out. Yeah, I think I'm just trying to figure out how to get to to that shop over there. 
completely forgetting the switch that I found earlier. Unless I'm thinking that the switch is gonna like warp me out or something. I can't do anything but laugh at myself, but, but you know, in my defense, you really don't ever know if the thing is gonna warp you out, or, you know, like, unlock a hidden passage, it can really go out of the way. This is the thing. I mean, the shuriken and are expensive, right? Um, I'm probably totally gonna buy some. I feel like I'll probably just buy all shuriken. I don't really think I'll care about the crystal stuff much, but we'll see. Yeah. I'm just like, give me shuriken. <laughs> Cause I mean, I can only get six, you know? Yeah, I, d I don't think I'm going to regret just getting Shuriken, right? Yeah, good move on that quick save. So yeah, I think we've gotten everything from Eureka to Forbidden Land. And, um, you know. Yeah, I'm glad I remembered to teleport out because walking back through that. I mean, again, if you need levels, but I, I didn't feel at this point that I did, right? Not because I'm, you know, I mean, because, I, again, I think you can go all the way up to level 99, but, but like, why, I can't even imagine how ridiculous, you know, the fights are if you're at level 99, right? So. Yeah, so I guess I'm debating my jobs again. And I, I would think I would just make you a ninja and call it a day. I'm probably comfortable with everything else. And see, I think what's funny too is I don't even know if I'll remember to load from that other file, but you know, we'll see. I, I do look adorable in my ninja outfit. So thanks for hanging out. Please hang out again where we will have one more part of post commentary and then we then the, the other parts will be past me. Alright. Bye bye.